Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Before we start the vlog, I thought that I would share with you a lot of footage that I've been filming over the past week about setting up my aquarium, the Red Sea Max C250 65 gallon saltwater reef aquarium. Just so that you know, this is the third aquarium centric vlog, so if you haven't checked out the other two, make sure to click on them over here or in the link in the description below. Other than that, let's catch up with all the aquarium footage. It has actually been two weeks since we let this fish establish himself in the tank. So I think that it's a good time to introduce the new fish, Katniss, the bigger one, the more dominant one. Let's see how hard it is to catch you. Oh, that was easy. There we go, we caught you. Okay, let's do some drip acclimation. I just got the siphon going. The water's dripping from the aquarium. There it goes. There he goes. Oh, look. You guys meeting each other. Hi. This is such a large new world. This tank still looks very beautiful and it looks so weird with no fishy inside. Well, it's been about five weeks since I set up this tank. The main cycles are pretty much all done so we can start stocking the tank with a few things. Torch coral and I got a Monty cap. This was really cheap. They're drip acclimating. We're going to use Coral Revive to dip them. The whole point of dipping corals is so that you avoid introducing all these pests that you can't see into your aquarium. You don't want something to like an outbreak to occur. Like all these little things are coming off the coral already. These little specks. Ended up moving the piece over here. It looks a little bit more natural. I think it looks pretty good. The torch coral opened up already. So that's awesome. It's been a couple of hours and check it out, the frog spawn opened up. Looks nice and happy. As for this Monty cap, I can't really tell yet. It looks like there's a slight polyp extension, but it's pretty hard to tell. The water is so clear that it doesn't even look like there's any water in the aquarium. It just looks like the fish are floating in the air. Isn't that kind of cool? <laughs> and welcome back to today. The fishies are really loving the aquarium setup. The frog spawn over here is looking really nice. It opened up. As you notice, the fish are swimming around the aquarium. They're not only staying in one spot anymore. Gatsby's watching. Yep. Do you like the butt pincher? Pinch your butt, pinch your butt. Butt pinch. Thank you. And I am headed off to the gym right now. See you guys there. Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my line. When I call my Corky's number, I get a click. Every time. <laughs> Lot two chains. That corgi's crazy. Corgi dogs know my corgi's crazy. What's wrong with these corgis lately? Corgis better get in their knees and praise me. Hermit crab eating all the diatoms off the sand. Here are the other two. This fish is like trying to eat stuff off of the snail. <laughs> you look delicious. It looks like this baby clownfish likes to host the frog spawn. Hosting away. <laughs> Mom is like, what, please? I found it first. A lot of the times the clownfish don't host an anemone. And one of the ways they suggest to do it, when people said it always works, which I'm like, I never tried it because I thought it was so stupid, was <laughs> to print out pictures of clownfish inside of anemones <laughs> and tape it to the glass. <laughs> so the clownfish would see the picture and be like, oh, I need to host the anemone. Is it time to go to the park? <laughs> Yeah? Okay, let's go. Here we go. To the park. It's so green outside. Go get it. Woo! <laughs> go, go, go. Let me go help catch the perch. Hurting doggies. <laughs> <laughs> Headed home. 
podcast. We got to stay at the park extra long. Don't forget, my friend is still selling those LED collars. I'll put a link in the description below. If you use the promotional code Gatsby, you get 30% off. Yeah, Gatsby. Yeah. Gatsby's just hanging out in his cozy cave bed. Exhausted. Just got a package in the mail. I think I know what this is. Oh, Lucas, my main from Smash Brothers Brawl. It's like my favorite thing to do is just annoy people by just saying, PK fire! Lucas is using the force. They match. You gotta find a place for him now. Okay, there we go. Just added Lucas to the end here. He's in good company. I have room for pretty much one more amiibo. So I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get more. So many fighters. And it's dinner time right now, so we're gonna make some spaghetti because we haven't made that in a really long time. I make a pretty good spaghetti. Just gonna make some meat sauce spaghetti with some ground beef here and some pasta sauce. Mom's roasted pepper sauce. And we got some spaghetti noodles. Super simple. Show you guys how to make it really fast. Start boiling some water for the noodles. And for the beef, we're just gonna get a large pan like this and heat it up. Break it up. And next, you don't have to do this, but I like to add some garlic powder and some onion powder. Now we just keep spinning it around and wait for it to totally brown. So what we're gonna do next is turn down the heat. Mom's sauce. There we go. Just mix it around. Gatsby, come. You want this? Here you go. And just because I have it, let's add some rosemary and some thyme. Just kind of like break it up. The noodles are done. Just pour them out. Bam! We got some leftovers. Next, let's add the sauce. Mmm. It's good. Dinner and leftovers. Parmesan cheese. Snow in! Dinner time! Hey guys, let's enjoy a little bit more deleted aquarium footage, this time having to do with the setup. Check it out. Right now I'm planning out all the necessary steps I'll need to use in order to make the seawater. Right now what I'm doing is I'm measuring out how many gallons are in this bucket and I'm just filling it up one by one and marking it. Siphon in the water. Okay, so I just took out five gallons of water as marked over here. This is five gallons. So I'm gonna mark a piece of tape over here so I know that if I wanna do a five gallon water change, this is where I need to take the water out until. Here's the 10 gallon mark. We got our marks here. Now we can just add the water back with our return pump. Add in all the water back. Yes. So with careful planning, I think that I can do water changes a lot easier now. Okay, it's time to make the salt water. The salt finally came in. We're using Red Sea's Coral Pro Salt. Apparently this was to use half a cup per gallon of water. So we have over here 12 gallons that I just measured out. Salt water that has been evaporated from the Red Sea. Yeah, 12 half cups. So you just have to wait for it to mix up. Awesome, look, the water is all clear. I noticed that the temperature with the thermometer here was actually going way above. What I did with this tank is I stuck a fan to the heat vents and that actually really helped a lot. So what I ended up doing was I ordered a fan. I found one that would clip onto the side of my aquarium and here it is. It's one of these portable fans over here. I wanted something where I could actually open the aquarium. This allows me to do it, as you can see. Plus, if you look on it straight forward, you can't really see it. The Lasco clip stick. Another order just came in the mail. Water changer so you don't have to use any buckets or anything because this hose is long enough to reach from your tank all the way to the sink. Let's do a siphon. We're going to turn off the pumps. Another nice thing is now no more having to drink aquarium water when I'm trying to start the siphon. Uh, it's like a 40% water change or so. That's good. Like so. John wants to ride around with the nine bot. just fell. Too bad we didn't get that on camera. A lot of you guys always ask who's filming me when I'm on the 9 bot. Sean is. 
so beautiful. We're gonna get to bed and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the aquarium vlog. Good night. We're going to add the two liters of Coca-Cola. Go. I don't drink soda, so this is gonna be a treat. Yeah, it looks like it's boiling already because of all the carbon dioxide. We're gonna add two tablespoons of salt, balance the sweet and salty flavor. One. Whoa! Chemical reaction here. And two 